Have you seen this new trend? been going massively viral of recent, and this is the very best time to hop into it, to blow your account up. The edit is very easy, and this is not the time to think about editing being difficult, because it's totally easy. And by the time you're done watching this tutorial, you will have your own viral edit in your hands, ready to post. The software we will be using to generate this Earth Zoom Out intro is Filmora AI, integrated with VO3. You must have heard of this new AI that is so real that you can barely tell if a video generated from it is real or fake. What are your thoughts on gold diggers? There's no such thing as a gold digger. All women are expensive, so pick one in your price range and shut the fuck up. What do you bring to the table in a relationship? The fuck do I look like, a waiter? Next question. What's your best dating advice? It's better to give 20 guys a chance than 20 chances to the same guy. You're a player, not a fool. What's your philosophy on love versus money? I think it's better to cry in a Lamborghini than cry in a Honda Civic. Yeah. All men will disappoint you, so choose the richest one. Yeah, that is what we will be using to make this real quick. And all you gotta do is open your Filmora app. You can download it quickly from the link in this video description. Now, upon opening it, tap on the Image to Video section. Once it opens, tap on the image icon and select the image which you screenshot from a football clip. This is the one we will be using, then upload it. And then on the script section, copy and paste this script into the space. This script says, the video starts with a man standing off the football field. The camera slowly zooms out, rising higher and higher above the building and the city. It continues zooming out, flying through the clouds and the atmosphere until it reaches space. Now the Earth is fully visible from far away, a round planet spinning slowly in the dark universe. The continents, oceans, and clouds are clearly visible. The video ends with a wide, beautiful view of planet Earth, floating in space and surrounded by stars. After you have added this toggle on the VO3 feature, then hit generate. Wait a few seconds and your video is ready. You can see how cold this looks. Now, we will be importing this same clip into Filmora editing timeline to reverse it by selecting edit option. Now, before you think why we are using Filmora, it's clearly because it's the best option for us to make this very quickly, and its subscription is more affordable compared to that of any other app like CapCut, so you don't gotta worry about this edit turning out good. Because I assure you, by the end of this video, you will see how good this would turn out to be, with its CC far better than that of the preview. I personally was genuinely amazed when I cooked this edit the first time, because it was mind-blowing, for real. So make sure you watch till the end so that you can learn a whole lot from what I'm gonna be teaching today. And you don't have to do anything difficult, but just just tapping on the edit button, and once it opens in the timeline, you will see that it's not looking like what we want yet. So you first of all reverse it by tapping on the clip and selecting reverse option. After that, export the clip so that it doesn't lag whenever we start making our edits. Re-import it back after you are done with that, then delete the original. You can see how perfect it looks. Now we'll be adding our audio by extracting it from the original edit. So tap on the audio icon and then select the clip and extract the audio. Once done, extend the clip and add beats to the sound. But before that, we will be adding the clips first. Get these 4K clips from my Telegram. Once imported, scale the first clip so the end matches the frame of the second clip for a better transition. Now we'll go on to add the beats to the sound. So add the beats according to these my settings.
Once done, split the clips where it ended and make sure it ends doesn't interfere with the next clip. Do this for all of them. Next, locate the point in the sound where there's another beat and add a beat mark right there. That's in between the beats already created, just like this. Now that we are done, we will be making the clip to be slightly ahead of the second beat mark, either by slowing it a little down or speeding it up a little. So once there is a little distance from the second beat mark, then we will split it at that point and slow the little part down till it meets the next beat mark. Adjust it to fit the beat mark once you have done that. You can see how it looks. It's slowed down at the next tone of the beat. Now we will be doing the same for the rest of the clips. You can see how it looks, now we will delete what we did for this clip and remake it because it's too slow. We're going to have to extend it a little. You can see how it looks like. We are using this style because the graph is not working fully well based on when I tried. So now we'll be copying the clip and making the copy and overlay by hitting the copy icon and selecting track switching. Place it below its main and repeat the same for the rests. Now we'll be removing the background of the overlay by hitting smart cutout, then remove background so that we can have the zoom edit visibly behind it Now that we are done, exit the project and open another draft so we can make our zoom out. These clips are very short and are two seconds in total. So get them from my telegram and do the same for your edit. Now add keyframe by the start of the clips. Next, zoom out the end of the each clips, which would automatically create a keyframe right there. Once done, add the dispersion blur effect for a smooth zoom effect. Make its object all and duplicate the effect. Now move to the adjust option and make contrast 41 saturation minus 40 and sharpen 78. This is what it would look like. 
so export it and import it into our main edit. Hover to the main clip and reduce its speed to normal so that when we replace it with another clip, it wouldn't be slowed down as well. Now replace it with the zoom we made. When it's replaced, extend the length of the zoom to its peak. Now speed it up to fit the position of the beat mark. Also, scale the overlay clips. And this is what it would look like. Do the same for the rest of the clips. Now by the start of the transition, add this line transition by tapping on the add icon. You can download them from my telegram. Then on the line overlay, hit blend and make it screen. This would eliminate the black section. Next, we would be adding a fire flash to the edit by using this overlay. You can download it from my telegram. You then adjust it to fit the transition perfectly well. Use the screen option in the blend section. Duplicate it and apply to the rest of the clips. Now add a white background to act as flash for the second beat mark where the zoom starts. So split it to be 0.1 seconds long. Make it to fit the transition perfectly well and add a fade out animation to it. Then copy it and paste on the rest of the clips.
here's what it looks like. Now, this is the most important part of this tutorial, the CC part. So make sure you tag me in your edits after you use the CC so I can see how it turned out to be for you. Now tap on the adjust icon and on saturation, make its adjustments, minus 41. Adjust it till the end of this clip. Then go back to adjust. Scroll down to temperature and make it 34. Next, scroll to the HSL option. Make red color saturation, minus 24. Hue, 100. Lightness, minus 97. Make orange color saturation, minus 8. Lightness, 2. Make green color saturation, minus 58. Make the blue color hue, 10. Saturation, minus 100. Then extend it till the end of the edit. Now add the Cool Film filter by tapping on the filter option and selecting Cool Film. Make its adjustments 50. Adjust it to the end of the timeline as well. Next add the Sierra filter as well. Make its filter adjustment 39. Now on the effect menu, search for glow highlight and add the first effect you see. Adjust it till the end and you're done. Here is our results. You can see how amazing that turned out. And I can't still believe that I made that on Filmora because it's genuinely mind blowing. Now, wherever you use this CC, your edits must be fire because it works totally well in all clips. So far, you are making it on the Filmora app. So make sure you tag me in your edits whenever you use it because I might give you a shout out. Don't waste no time on this trend. Go to my Telegram, download 4K football clips, then download this Filmora app from my description. Remake your own Earth zoom out edit with the steps I gave in this video so that you can go viral as well. In my next video, I will be showing you all how I have been going viral with my edits on TikTok and even on Instagram. That would be a story for another day. But anyone who has edits turns out the best from this my tutorial, then I will give him a shout out in my next tutorial. So get to work now, family.